Well, first I thought she was a radical sister, because I didn't know she was an actual sister. And said, Sister Karen, oh, she wants to be radical, right on, you know, back on the hippie area. And then I walk in and see this old lady, you know, with cigarette smoking, you know, like scary, like crazy. Those eyes were like, it's like a wall. I tried to say, whoa, I don't know if I want to be here. And she said, come on in, come on in. I was like, do you know where's the bus stop? <laughs> So that's how the interview and uh, but basically I consider Sister Karen my mom away from home because she was such a uh, the, her human quality was and her energy was so huge you had to wear sunglasses around her you know and she was the kind of person that she will speak her mind regardless if you get hurt or not you know she never had the intentions to hurt your feelings. She just wanted to tell you what the problem, what 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 your problem is when you make an art, trying to. Because she won awards in in Europe, she already understood what is to be a real artist, you know. And I see as I was working, I start I started my first year working in cell graphics. I used to go upstairs to have some, when I schedule meetings with her, and I'll see artists walking out in her office crying with a print in their hands and I'll say, Ooh, I better come back later. And then they will say, Hey Sister Karen, she told me that if I wanna be an artist I, I should focus on my art more and my art looks like crap and she she hurt my feelings. But they got better. They got better and that that was Sister Karen's forte, you know to be able to pull the best out of you.